All right, Shalom, this is your brother Karab from GMS Miami. First and foremost, want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elder apostles, a great millstone that rule well. Greetings and blessings to all the sincere Akim throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives to do so. Okay, and um, this is uh, another installment of um, the benefits of being an Israelite. Okay, and um, you know, just uh, basic milk scriptures, man. You know, just to, to cut down that vibration that Christianity is pushing, man, and that the spirit has had has had our uh, brothers uh, dig into uh, as of late. You know, but um, it's clear as day to us. You know, but um, you know, it's a, a constant reminder, man, that uh, you know, we're very fortunate, man. We we could have been heathens, man. You know, and and with that, just knowing that alone, uh should put some type of uh some fire on the ass, you know? <laughs> because the scriptures say that uh Yahweh is um uh, is a consuming fire, man. So if he's dwelling inside you like uh the scriptures say, uh alluding to first Corinthians the third chapter, um if he's dwelling within you, man, you gotta be on fire, man. If not if you're not on fire, that means he's not dwelling with you, man. Okay? And that's why uh, lukewarm niggas get spewed out. Because you, you, you're good for nothing. You know? But um, that's uh, neither here nor there. The point is that the Most High is only dealing with Israelites. And there are certain perks that come with being Israelite. Okay? And um, to be more precise, uh, he's only dealing with the election of the nation of Israel one-third at this point. Okay? The whole nation of Israel will be saved through the one third, but the, the majority, two thirds of the Israelites will be put to death, okay, here in America. Because they, they, they will not acknowledge that the Heavenly Father is only dealing with Israelites and he is their power and all the rest of the other nations are bastards, okay? Yet and still you have niggas trying to be equal to them or trying to bring them along. I had one nigga tell me, um, so you mean to tell me if if a guy that's of another race wants to uh, hear the gospel and he's not uh, an Israelite, I can't tell him the gospel because he's not an Israelite? I was like, exactly. And he was like, nah, get out of here, man. You know, but hey, hey, Christianity is a terrible drug, man. It's a hell of a drug, like, like Rick James said, man. But hey, there is truth residing here in the world. Why? Because there is a power. His name is Yahweh and his son's name is Yahweh Shah. And like uh, it says in Amos, the third chapter, seven verse, before he does anything, he reveals his secrets to his servants and prophets. Now, the mystery of the Gentiles has been revealed, man. Now, we know who the Gentiles are, okay? And we're waking our people up, and there's a mass awakening happening. And not only that, the Heavenly Father and his son are about to return and, claim, and take back what's uh, rightfully his, which is dominion over the world, okay? So, uh, like here, uh, one of my favorite milk scriptures, it says, uh, this is Yahweh Shah speaking, Matthew 15 and 24, it says, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel, okay? And the key word there is lost sheep, okay? Because he's the great shepherd, the good shepherd, right? So, he's coming back to get the lost sheep of his fold, which are Israelites, okay? And that's a beautiful thing, man, okay? But, hey, Christianity teaches that he's coming back for everybody, which is an absolute farce. What type of movie is that? When the Messiah comes, the, 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 everybody's saved in the end of the movie. Nobody dies. Everybody's good. Fuck out of here, man. Okay? So I'm just going to, uh, you know, edify the scriptures that uh, the Most High is only dealing with Israel. Okay? Let me go with, uh, let's go with Joel. Salakia. Let's go with Joel 2. And... Mm, let's see. Mm, let's see. Hmm, let me. Okay, I go. I start with this one. I'll come back to that one. It'll leave my mind right now. This is uh Deuteronomy twenty nine and twenty nine. Um. It says, uh, hmm, let's see where it starts. Let's start 29, okay? Uh, Deuteronomy 29, 29. It says, the secret things belong unto Yahweh, our power, okay? So, 
all the secret things, you know, uh, in the world, man, they belong to the most, the most high, man. Okay. But those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever that we may do all the words of this law. Okay. So, you know, there are secrets that the most high chooses not to reveal, but the ones he does reveal, he reveals to us. And who is the us? The Israelites. Let me see if it mentions it in the top of the chapter. Yeah, uh, Deuteronomy 29 and 1. It says, these are the words of the covenant which Yahweh commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel in the land of Moab beside the covenant which he made with them in Horeb. Okay, plain. Because we all know um, who left out of Egypt with Moses, the children of Israel. Okay, so that's the, hey, that's the thesis of, the, of, of this chapter. The covenant that the Most High made with the children of Israel. Okay. And it says, I'm going to read that again. Deuteronomy 29, 29. The secret things belong unto Yahweh, our power. But those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever. That we may do all the words of this law. Okay. So the secret things are revealed to the Israelites. Period, point blank, and no one else. Okay. So you can't expect other nations to know anything. The secrets haven't been revealed to them. They don't know when the end is coming. Or when the end is nigh, uh, Salakia. Okay? Or they don't they don't know the sign. They don't know the prophecies. They don't know how America's gonna be destroyed. Or, or how the Israelites are gonna are, are gonna be saved. They don't know. They they're clueless. They 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 don't care. They have their own gods, okay? And that's what people don't understand, man. Uh 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 you go back in antiqu antiquity, the majority of other nations they had their own gods. They didn't care to worship our, our power. They they most of the time they mocked us, okay? But, hey, these people don't have any understanding. And that's what it boils down to. Okay. Um, let me try to find that in Joel. So, Lark, you bear with me. I don't know why it leaves my mind right now. This is Joel. Uh, mm. Okay, this is Joel 2 and 27. It says, uh, I'm going to start at 26. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of Yahweh, your power, that have dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. And who are his people? The Israelites. Okay. It hasn't changed, man, from Genesis to Revelation. The scriptures say that the most high change not. Okay. It's just, you know, the, the real disconnect is that, you know, the people, the main people that scoff against uh, the truth of the Bible is, is, is our Israelites, people that don't know they're Israelites. And that's the main disconnect. They don't do any research and they don't have any wherewithal or any wits to understand that they're Israelites. So they're coming with that all inclusive doctrine. OK, when the Bible is very exclusive from Jump Street. OK. From beginning to end is very exclusive. And then just nature itself shows you that the most high is all about exclusivity. Okay, not inclusivity. You see bluebirds with bluebirds, red birds with uh, robins with robins, you know, dogs with dogs, cats with cats. Okay. And he meant the same thing with humans, man. Okay. Um, let's read, okay. This is uh um, where are we at? Uh uh, 27, Joel 2 and 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. So like, I'm going to go back to 26. It's Joel 2 and 26. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of Yahweh, your power, that have dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. Verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Okay. And <laughs> that's plain. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am Yahweh, your power, whose power Israel's power. OK, that I am the that I am Yahweh, your power and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. OK, so it's saying plain here that Yahweh is the power of Israel and none else. OK. Alluding to Isaiah 40 and uh, 12, which says that the nations before him are as nothing or as a drop from a vessel. This is plain, man. You have to read in context, you know. But really, you know, you have to study this thing. You know, it's, it's not something that you can just pick up 
and, and, and get with it for a week and then, you know, get bored because you don't understand what's going on and you you coming trying to come up some other way. And um, no, nah, it don't work like that, man. Brothers have put in hours and hours and hours and days and days and weeks and weeks and months and years into this, man. And that's what it really takes, man. This is extensive. It's plain, but it's extensive. And you have to give your time to it and you have to ask the Heavenly Father to suck with you and you have to be led by the correct teachers which are the elders apostles at great millstone okay so uh that's another scripture proving that a hey, uh the, another benefit of being an israelite okay because the the, the 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 creator of the universe is your father if you're an israelite which is a negro latino or native american for the most part and those that go back to those lineages around the world okay so let's get another one this is uh Deuteronomy 32 uh, verse 8 Deuteronomy 32 and 8 when the most high divided to the nations their inheritance when he separated the sons of Adam see and there goes that word separate because the most high is a separatist he's always been a separatist okay it's just that the Christian church come up with this new doctrine of men you know, because really what happened is Esau found out that he's e uh, the white man found out that he's Esau and he's he's there's no place of repentance for him. OK, so he pushed this bullshit ex uh, inclusive doctrine and our people ate it up like chitlins, you know, and now that you can't they wholeheartedly believe that. And the reason why is because uh, uh, we discontinued from our heritage. And Esau did a great job in keeping our people in the blind. But now the Heavenly Father is revealing the secrets. And the majority of our people just shun it, okay? So you're going to be destroyed with, with, with your father, the, the white man, who is Esau, okay? I'll read that again, Deuteronomy 32 and 8. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds, meaning the boundaries, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel, okay? So that's that's plain, man. When he, when he set, gave out the inheritance, he set the boundaries according to... Uh, what he wanted for the children of Israel, which is his chosen, okay? And then verse 9 goes on to explain it. It said, For the Lord's portion, Salakia, for Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai's portion, is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance, okay? Hey, I don't see any other nations mentioned here, man. Now, you got this shithead that I deal with. Well, not deal with, I just condemn through the Spirit. That says the most high expanded in the New Testament. That would mean he, and then when I say he changed, he said, no, he expanded. Expanded doesn't mean change. Okay. But like I say, Christianity is a, is a hell of a drug. Okay. So here is clearly saying the Lord's portion is Israel. Okay. Jacob. Period. Point blank. There's no way around it. Okay. Now let's get that in the New Testament since, you know, you got scoffers and that's what we do. We bring this book full circle. Okay, this is Romans 9. This is uh, uh, Paul, who is an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. Okay, Romans 9 and 1. I say the truth in Hamashiach, I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost. Verse 2, that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. Okay, now it's going to tell you why he has great heaviness and continued sorrow in his heart and for who? It says, for I could wish that myself were accursed from Hamashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of the Most High and the promises, whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh, Hamashiach came, who is over all. Yahweh blessed forever a month. Okay? So that's plain, man. The Heavenly Father sent his son down for Israel. Okay? And to the Israelites pertain what? The adoption, the glory, the covenants, and the giving of the law, and the service of God, and the promises, man. And what's one of the what's the biggest promise? The kingdom of heaven, man. Okay? That's why there are 12 gates noted. Okay? In the book of Revelations. 12 gates consisting of the 12 tribes of the nation Israel. Okay, so that's the perks of being an Israelite, man. Okay, which are the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? Look, most of our people not, are gonna get with it. I mean, most of our people are not gonna get with it, and very few will. Okay, and that's who we push this word to. Okay, to wake up the hopefully late, man, to show them the benefits of being an Israelite. Okay, 
Lord willing, that was edifying, and I'll do another installment uh, at another time. So, Lord willing, that was